All right, it is time for us to start a new career mode. And as you can see, we are gonna be using AC Milan. You guys have wanted a Serie A career mode for quite some time. And I've seen Inter Milan be suggested a lot, but I've seen a lot of Inter Milan career modes. And I feel like I haven't seen as many AC Milan career modes. So we're taking a little break from our Newcastle career mode. We're gonna do a season with AC Milan and then see what happens from there. But I'm very excited about this. I haven't done a Serie A career mode in forever. And I don't watch the Serie A very often. I might watch a Juventus game here and there because of Ronaldo, but I'm not too familiar with the league, but I think this is going to be fun. We're going to try to bring AC Milan back to its glory days. I mean, in real life, AC Milan are sitting in second place right now, so we're going to try to replicate that in this series. Guys, we need to get back into the Champions League for sure and also challenge for this Serie A title. So first things first, we have about 47 million to work with on our transfer budget, so I need transfer suggestions. So to see what we might need, let's take a look at this team. So we have one of the best goalkeepers in the game, 86 rated at 21 Donnarumma. Left back Hernandez were set there as well. Center backs are not bad, especially Romagnoli and Tamori. By the way, my, my pronunciations might be horrendous. I don't know how to pronounce half these names, but we're going to try. So we can maybe use one more center back in the 70s to be like fourth choice. And then at right back, we have Dallo alone from Man United and then Calabria at right back. And then we have a lot of midfielders in this team. I'm very excited to use Tonali. I think Kessie and Tonali are going to be my starting two center mids, as of now at least. And then we we have some young like wide midfielders with like the hardest names to pronounce we're gonna call him alexis he's 21 from belgium he looks pretty decent and then we also have jens petter i don't know how to pronounce that either but he looks pretty good 20 years old 75 rated raheem on loan from real madrid shauhanaglu who i'm very excited to use as well castellejo right mid pretty decent and then of course ibra manzukic and rafael leao who i'm also very excited to use so looking at that we need a backup left back because hernandez is our only left back on this roster and then i feel like we need a starting left mid like that's the one position in this team that is kind of kind of dragging us down a bit we could maybe use a new right back but i'm willing to give calabria a chance there and honestly a new starting right mid would not be bad either but the problem is we only have 47 million that's not much so we're gonna have to try and be smart with our money but let's take a look at what the board expects from us this season so they want us to sign one youth player but i'm not sure how big of a role the youth academy is going to play in this series so okay five clean sheets and away matches sign one young player within three seasons increase club worth by 30 percent and they want us to reach the quarterfinal of the Copa Italia and then finish in a Champions League spot in Serie A so that is pretty much in line with our goal this season and they want us to win the Europa League so like decently high expectations but we're AC Milan we need to get them back to the top of the footballing world so I've made an initial short list but I'm not sure how many signings we're gonna make in this episode because I do want your guys' feedback for spending most of this money all right so first offer is for Krunich for 6 million. Now he's 74 rated 26. I don't think we get much use out of him. So I think we're going to let him go. See what they say to 6.5. See if they accept that. And they do. All right. So Krunich should be going to Valencia for 6.5 million. And Krunich has been sold. So that is the first transfer of this series. So now we're at 52 million to work with. So we got these scouting reports back, but I feel like a lot of these players might be just too expensive. Well, actually, maybe not. Octavio was linked with AC Milan in real life. Apparently, we can get him for 35 million. He'd be that left mid that we're looking for, even though he's not very quick or not as quick as I thought he was. But he would be pretty decent, but a large chunk of our money. And then it seems like a lot of these other players on this list are around like the 40, 30, 50 million price tag, but then others are just way up into like the 60s. Leandro Trossard would not be that bad and he would be on the cheaper side. So we're gonna sim ahead here and see if we get any other offers, but I don't plan to do too much business in this first window because we don't have that much money to work with and because I wanna keep this series as realistic as we can. All right, Arsenal have come in for Castillejo for 20 million. I mean, his value is 17.5, he's 25 five years old he's not young but he's not old either i think if we can get like 28 million for him i would i would let him go for that so we're going to negotiate um let's try what if we try 29.5 try 29.5 and they want 24.7 in a sell-on clause about 28.5 i'm not sure i would go much lower than 28 so we'll see if they accept that and they do so his value is 17.5 we're selling him for 28.5 i did not expect to sell him but i think that is not a bad deal in terms of his value so if he's gone it looks like the guy with the unpronounceable name for now looks like he will go into that starting right mid spot or you know like we have a lot of midfielders i wonder if we should play like a 4-2-2 narrow or something or no a 4-1-2-1-2 so if we had tenali cdm and then two center mids chauhanaglu at cam and then ibra and 
Rebich up top. That might not be that bad, but we'll see first if Castillejo leaves for Arsenal. All right, so Castillejo was sold. That is 23 million added to our budget. And then Octavio is being approached by Lazio. So they accepted 35 million for Octavio. So we have 75 million. Do we try and steal Octavio from Lazio? I mean, like 35 million for an 81 rated player. That might be one of the best deals on this short list right now. Because a lot of these players that are in the 80s, their value is just way up in like the 50s and 60s. So you know what? I think we're going to try and steal this deal from Lazio. So they offer 35 we're gonna offer the same amount 35 million i've seen in my other career modes octavio be bought out by like chelsea and man united and he's played decent against me in the past so i think it's time that we sign him up and see for ourselves how he can play for us so 35 million and his wages should not be that high so i think octavio is gonna be the first signing of this series they even scanned like his neck tattoo which is pretty cool but i think this is a pretty decent signing for our first of this series all right let's see if he accepts 40k per week 250k signing bonus and and he accepts so officially Octavio is our first signing of this series so we just came in and swooped that deal from Lazio so he'll get number seven for now and then we'll put him on a development plan also I've put development plans on like basically everyone just so that we get the most growth out of each player but I like that signing I've never used him before he'll go into the starting left mid spot so that's left mid sorted I feel like we need a right mid or another right sided winger and then possibly a backup left back or definitely a backup left back let me see if there's like someone cheap like on loan or something we could pick up there are two left backs loan listed in the whole entire game yeah that makes no sense um i think we have a left back on our short list who is it robinson but he's recently joined he would be perfect because he's only 7.5 million value but recently joined means that we can't sign him all right so we got a few more left backs emerson is it Backed or backer. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then Kurzawa. So Emerson, I'm not paying 20 million plus for a backup left back. This backer guy does not look bad though. Only five to eight million, 20 years old, 72 overall. He looks like he's tall. Yeah, he's six one. That is pretty tall for a left back but he is pretty quick. I think I'd rather have backer instead of Kurzawa. So we are going to try to sign him up to be our backup left back. So this should be pretty cheap. We're going to go 6 million. This should not be too expensive. 2% sell on clause. You know what? Since you added that, we're going to try to lower it just a little bit. About 5.7 plus a 2% sell on clause. 4% I will take that 5.7. Yeah, I am totally happy with paying that for a backup left back. I think he has potential on him too. I'm not sure though. All right. 22,000 per week. Backer is signed up and yeah, so he looks pretty decent he looks pretty decent he's 6-1 i almost think he could play center back i mean he looks like he has center back stats if he gets his defensive stats up a little bit but not bad for a backup left back especially at that price all right so backup left back sorted so i kind of feel like what we could use is a fourth choice center back and then maybe a starting right mid and we have about 33 million left so when is our first game i think i'll play our first game and then end the episode there and then use your guys' feedback in the next episode to finish the transfer window so once again leave your guys' suggestions in the comments down below we need possibly a right mid fourth choice center back and whatever else you guys think we need leave that in the comments down below all right so the assistant manager is saying that ibra should be our captain but who is the captain of ac Milan right now i feel like romanali would be the captain but you guys let me know who should be captain in this team so i'm kind of thinking for this first game we actually do that formation i said earlier so if we do a four a four one two one two and then i guess do kessie at cdm actually Tenali on the right Chauhanoglu up top and then Octavio maybe I mean we can try this Tenali and Octavio are playing out of position though even though Octavio it says he can play center mid he still gets like a, a negative bonus from that he should be fine there and if this works we could make Octavio just a center mid so we'll play Rebic up top with Ibra I feel like that's not bad because Ibra is getting on his pace isn't quite the best so I feel like a strike partner up there with him would help him a lot you know what or we do a 4-2-2-2 two, 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 actually so if we did this Octavio and Chauhanoglu we play playing just two cams and then Cassie Tonali would be CDMs I feel like this might make a bit more sense so we're gonna try this for our first game I think I'm just gonna make Cassie stay back put Chauhanoglu on free roam same with Octavio and then put Ibra to stay forward I think we leave it there for now so opening game of Serie A is against Atalanta a pretty tough team I think at least for our first game this season so our goal this season is to finish in the top four anything other than that would be a complete failure on our part so top four is the goal and that starts with this first game against Atalanta so we'll see how this formation works I haven't used a formation with two at the top in a long time and also we've changed 
change the sliders a little bit because in our Newcastle series, they got a little bit too easy towards the end. So we're turning competitor mode off and then game speed is going to be on slow. So we're going to try that at least for this first game of this series. And then CPU shot error is on 25, pass error is on 5, and then their goalkeeper ability is going to be on 75, marking on 60, and then for us, our marking is on 60, and I think everything else is just default. So we'll see how these sliders work. Probably going to be just a process of changing them up throughout the season, trying to find that sweet spot. But it's time for our first game of this series with AC Milan at the San Siro against Atalanta. They look like a pretty decent team. Plus, I struggle against three at the back formations, and Syria is just full of three at the back formations. So I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm looking forward to this first game to see what we can do with AC Milan. Syria opener at a beautiful stadium. The San Siro is so beautiful, especially on next gen. If anyone's wondering, we're playing on the Series X. I think for the next new series that we do, we might go back to PC and use mods, but for this series, we're still on next gen. But we're looking for a good start in our very first game with AC Milan, trying out this formation we will see what we can do also Octavio's debut for Milan that is gonna be pretty pretty good to see what he can do Johanoglu up to Rebic like I said I've not played with a two striker formation in a very long time so I'm curious to see how this is gonna work can maybe cross that into Ibra Ibra gets up for that he is not looking like a 30 what is he 36 or 38 he looked like a spry 20 year old right there with that leap I mean we could try a three at the back formation too maybe in the next episode we can try that if this formation doesn't work but they're gonna have a free kick here that is going to be faked and then eventually just passed off that is a good shot by Muriel but that is blocked all right Tenali gets that and we can get this out all right Otavio play that to Kessie and try and play that to Chauhanoglu. That's a good pass. Trying to look for Ibra. Trying to look for him. That is going to be a cross and that is going to be a corner. The only bad thing is our two cams, Chauhanoglu and Octavio, are pretty slow. That is the only bad thing about this formation. We don't really have any speed on this team at all. That is a corner. That is going to be cleared. All right, Tenali into Chauhanoglu, Ibra. Try to get that to Octavio. Calabria has not had a bad game so far. Octavio is in some space. Ibra, that pass was meant for Octavio to begin with, and that's offside. That is just poor execution. It's a decent ball out wide. It's been a very timid start to this game. Not many chances for either team. Donnarumma catches that, though. I'm going to throw that out to Kessie. Get that up to Rebic. Play that to Ibra. Chauhanoglu, maybe, is in a good spot. Give that to Rebic. Octavio, Octavio. Oh, we can't get the ball to him. Oh, what was that? He's like, he's juggling the ball for some reason. Octavio was in a good spot. Just could not get the ball to him. No, that's a decent through ball. We should get this. We should. Romanoli gets a block in and it goes right back to him and he finishes it. All right, that, that shot felt so slow that I did not think it was going in. I thought we made the challenge. We definitely made a challenge. The ball just went right back to him. Romanoli had blocked off of his leg back to whoever that is. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but it's a good finish. All right. Right, right before halftime, we go down 1-0. Can we get a chance in before halftime? Rebic loses that. No, we are not. All right, we're definitely going to have to get used to playing with this team. But I don't think this formation is working like at all. So we're going to try that 4-2-1-2, I think. So we're going to try this one in the second half and see if we see any difference. In that first half, we did not create that many opportunities. All right, Octavio up to Ibra. We find a little bit of room. It's a good ball into Chauhanoglu in to Rebic get it back to Chohanoglu that's gonna be a corner at least all right immediately that felt a little better having especially Chohanoglu right behind the strikers that is going to be cleared Tenali is gonna go for a shot that is blocked Romanali is gonna go for a shot and that was actually not bad keeper has to save it all right let's swing this in let's try and aim for Ibra that is not Ibra that's gonna be a, another corner all right let's try this again still to the same exact player and I don't know what that was all right now they're gonna swing in a corner that is pretty dangerous looking but Donnarumma does catch that now can we spring for a counter attack to Nali? Waiting for Rebic. Oh, he's got closed down by the defender. Honestly, I'm not playing too well in this game. We have to get used to this team. All right, Kessie. We just have, like, no speed at all. And then it, it feels like that's hurting us. Tenali going to play that to Chauhanoglu. Kessie up to Rebic. Try and get that back to Kessie. That's not a good pass. In to Chauhanoglu. Can we get room for a shot? No, we can't. Yeah, we have no speed. Plus, I'm not used to playing with game speed on slow. So that is making everyone feel slow. It does feel like his formation is a little bit better, though. That is a good pass. That is a good pass in to Chauhanoglu, and he scores the first goal of the series. For us, at least. And this game's tied up at 1-1. It felt like he was going to be the first one to score for us. He looked like he was the most, like, uh, 
positive player on the field for us. Ibra just plays a little through ball and he finishes that on his left foot. All right, 70th minute. This game is tied up at 1-1. Definitely feels like this formation is a little bit better than the one in the first half. All right, they are coming forward. That's a good pass. That's a good block. I feel like we need some pace. All right, we're going to take Tenali off because he is a little bit tired. We're going to bring on Rafael Leao for Rebic. And then let's do Dallo for Calabria. But 15 minutes left. We'll see if we can grab the go-ahead goal in this game. And hopefully not concede the go-ahead goal. That is a good steal. Give that up to Ibra. Give that to Mete. That's a good run from my Rafael Leao. Some pace. And we've not had this game. That is into Mepta. Oh, we can't get this shot away. I completely just messed that up. That was the chance. That was the chance. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm sold on this game speed being at slow. Everything feels like it's in quicksand. I mean, I guess it does make it a little bit more realistic because FIFA FIFA feels like so arcadey. This makes it feel less arcadey. I'm just not used to it. All right, they're having a lot of possession here. Not really doing much with it, but that is a cross in and that is going to be cleared. It is very weird to see the CPU crossing in anything, but we do win that. There are two minutes left. That is it. Leao, can you win that? No, we can't. We lose it. All right, two added minutes. This might be a draw in our first game. All right, they are going to get the last attack of this game. That is going to be cleared, and that should be it, and it is. So a 1-1 draw. We definitely could have won that at the end. I ruined that one chance, but not horrible for our first game. Still not sold on this formation, though, and definitely Octavio had a quiet game, so we got to try and find out a formation that we get the most out of him as well all right so i think we're gonna leave the first episode of this series here now this formation did not work i'm almost thinking we should go back to just a one striker up top and then we could even play Rebic out wide we could do that or buy a new wide midfielder we got some minus twos minus ones but those will get fixed we'll get up their training and do all the training drills get their sharpness up but i think i still kind of want a starting right mid but we'll see what you guys think so 53 million in our budget once again leave your transfer suggestions in the comments down below also if you guys think we should try out any different formations leave that in the comments down below as well we could maybe try a three at the back next episode we could try something like a three four one two maybe but we will figure that out in the next episode so next episode we have Cagliari finish the transfer window and then we'll probably start the Europa League as well first game is against Real Sociedad so I am excited for this series to try and get AC Milan back to the top if you guys are excited for this series too make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video very soon and I hope you all have a great day.